I don't know who it was that taught me about using silk screens when you're doing stencils, but I am incredibly thankful <laughs> because they have saved my life. I used to be terrified. I tried doing the PYOs once, and they smeared, and they were ugly, and I got scared and never did it again until somebody suggested to use the silk. So, I bought some silk, some silk screen material. And what I do is I cut it just a little bit bigger than the stencil. That way it's hanging over the edge. And I can adjust it and flatten it if I need to. You see how thin that is? It's really nice. The only issue I have with it is that it, it it's kind of stringy. It frays real bad. So I don't know how reusable they'll be. I'm going to try. I'm going to wash them and see how it goes. Uh, but they may not be very reusable because of that. So I have the stencil and then the silk. And then I snap it together with my stencil holder. And then, get my icing, go over it. Now I know you're supposed to be able to reuse this on a second cookie, a third cookie, whatever. But I found I was having trouble because I couldn't see the cookie underneath. So I would have to adjust it, and then I was getting smear, and it was just not coming out pretty. Let me make sure I get these tires, because they're kind of down here. There we go. Scrape it off real good. One smooth motion lift, and voila. And I still missed that top line, and that happens. And I will go back over that with some real icing later. Uh, but... See how crisp and clean. I'm just amazed and I love it. And I will never do another stencil without soap again. 